here because I I'm actually genuinely curious what happens. But we're gonna jump into losers semis. We got Fox versus Falco. What in the yo, world? Yo, this is Jules Falco. And this okay. is Jen's Fox. So, um, Jen, we have seen this Fox. We saw it a little bit early in bracket. Uh, Jewel doesn't pull out the Falco too much. Uh, this may be specifically for this matchup, because I think he's mentioned before he feels a little bit more comfortable with this Falco against Fox. Right. But also, uh, this is Falco against Fox, so this will be interesting to see. Yeah, right. A little bit of melee action going on here. Uh, Fox versus Falco. The thing is, Falco is one of those combo characters. Mm -hmm. you, you can make a combo video off, uh, off of just watching this guy play the gameplay. Yes, Falco was the innovator of the Twitter combo. Ooh, I mean, that's going to be a great response coming out from Jen. Just easily goes for the shield, gets the down smash right afterwards to get the kill. He's going to, you know, like I said, you, you talked about how Jewel has a Falco, but I've actually personally never seen it. Yeah, I've, I've always seen his Robin. I think I've only ever seen him pull this out over at Aeon, actually. Once or twice. I think more in doubles than singles, but I think he has mentioned that he kind of likes... Oh! Well, I mean, if we're just going to donate stocks out here, <laughs> I mean... Absolutely. There we go. Forward air to rack up that damage a little bit more. 67. And that up tilt going to you know, reach up, catch him with his pinky toe. See, that was a good cross-up right there. He hits him with the sweet spot of down air to get over and off the ledge. And that does go into full conversion if he gets it. Jen is moving. Hold on. Back air. Oh, wants to go for the down smash instead. Wants to stay on the stage. Doesn't want to give up the control. All right. Wits him out. He's not dead on that. Very special. And Jules having a hell of a time getting back to the stage. Mm -hmm. Dash attack there was a very risky option. Oh, my wow! God! Wow! He gave up the punish and just waited. Okay, Jen. Falco, why do you think Fox is the leader of the team? Come on now. Man. All right. So you see a little bit of uh, Jules Robin play come over right there. He ran off the platform and did a wave bounce laser to hit over at Fox. For no reason. No. <laughs> with Falco, there's no reason for that. Falco, with Robin, it's important. With Robin, it's pretty stylish. With Falco, it's like, eh, show, okay. button, show button a little. Cool. All right, there we go. Rapid jab push. And I feel like this entire game has oh. just been Jewel trying to find stage control, trying to get center stage and get off this freaking ledge trap that he's been on for the past three minutes. Oh, uh, I was expecting the up smash to kill. Oh, well, well I mean, there it is. Speak of the devil. Yep. So Jewel didn't take a single stock there. Jen gave a homie stock. And uh, that's going to be Fox taking that pretty solidly. I, I don't know what to expect from Jewel. I think the reason he opted to go for Falco is because he knew that Jen was going to go Fox, who can really destroy Robin by just breaking her zone and her defenses. Can. Yes. Uh, Robin does have a difficult time. Robin does want a Why, little bit of time Jewel? to set up. <laughs> he is he's grooving. He is actively grooving to this song. You know he likes this song. He wants to slow down the pace with Robin. I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's a momentum shifter. No, but now see, we have the counter pick coming he, out. I guess he wants the, to go... You say that, but he it, well, it's because he picked Palu. Maybe. Well, so he picked Palu first, so then Robin could safely yes. go to Robin. Uh, so Jewel could safely go to Robin. Yes. So this is. Um, it's. I want to say it's the counter pick for teleport recoveries for those who. Wow. Unfortunate. He held that for a while too. He, he was. He was hoping for something there. For those who don't know, because of how Unova is shaped with its walls, uh, if you're too far pressed against the stage and too low down, you will always die with a teleport recovery. You will not make it back. Um, so this is a pretty good call for Jewel, who has no need for such worries. But Jen, I would think, has the presence of mind to be able to play around that. Oh, oh no. The very last hit of it? I, some, Jewel's got to like wake up here before he gets sent out to fourth place finish. Like, I don't know. Explosive Flame has no weak hits. He's just going <laughs> to... I mean, there's no reason for Jen to approach at this point. Might as well. Yep. Throw out those auto reticles. You want to come in? I, uh... And you notice that he's sending out a range just to kind of avoid those uh, L Thunders as well. Or Thunders, oh, I guess. In. Runs in with a quick nair, gives him the drive-by, and then goes right back to the reticle. Definitely playing a hit-and-run game. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to do any commitments here. Well, the well, thing is, Robin has such a slow movement speed that, like, this is why it, Jen can get away with this. Yes. It takes forever for Robin to get up and do something against uh, Palu. All right, good call there. Very patient and doesn't go too far off to the ledge, so he's still able to try to catch. All right. <laughs> Didn't see the sword coming. Yeah. Can't outrun a speeding sword. 
All right. Arc fire trap. I haven't seen that before. That worked? Yeah, I mean, that was a smart option from Jen. I guess Jewel didn't really see it coming, so he didn't opt to go for a punish right afterwards because after the reflect happened, maybe it's because he didn't want to run into the fire because maybe. the fire was technically in Paolo's favor. Maybe. Now, now sitting him at 122%, has a book, wants to send home a message. I think this is the most I've seen Jen stand still in a bracket match. It's kind of weird to see. Like, Jen's usually the one that's moving all over the place, and he's playing extremely passive, which is what you have to do against Robin. Mm -hmm. All right, goes for the auto reticle to try to get a cheeky couple of additional percent. Or you get, like, a sneaky kill, too. Can you imagine? I win. See, the thing is, I don't think auto reticle has any knockback, unlike that jab, which actually kills mad early. Yeah. Well, it's because he went for the uh, fire variant. So he got like the, the explosion kill after it to go for the rapid. That's funny actually. For those who don't know, when you're playing against Robin, uh, the rapid jab sends straight up basically, like that. Uh, and the fire sends straight out. So if you're not familiar with them, you'll get mixed up with the DI easy. Yeah. All right. Fire horizontal, wind vertical. So he was looking for an option there to try to read. Did we get anything off of it yet? Dash open attack, up. breaking the wall. Dash attack's a oh, really good option. It's got a lot of guard point on it. Can go through the projectiles. And he's looking for this throw. Goes for the up throw as a, a potential DI mix-up or to just give himself some more stage control. I think the DI mix-up would have been that. Back so, air. All right. Saw him jumping on that platform. Yep. Jewel on his last stock for the game and potentially tournament stock. Let's see what we can do here. A good arc fire. Bounces back, doesn't get the up smash conversion out of it, which will hurt. That would have been a lot of damage he'd like to have on the board. Easy. Patient. <laughs> see him get, like get sm smack that. Oh my good yep. god, that shield poked. Yes. That is another uh, setup that he loves doing with Robin. Um, so there's a lot of hits on that down smash. And if you are point blank, that thing will eat your shield alive and poke it. All right, good roll. Nosferatu putting it back even. Yeah, that command grab coming in clutch. You can't be holding shield against Robin Madero all the time like that. He's got that mix up. All right, this would be the turn of something great for Duel. Waits out the spot dodge. Very he's, nice. He's got a momentum. Almost catches the jump. Let's see him again. <laughs> Trying to apply shield pressure. Gets a so down patient. smash. This is looking very scary. He stood there. Waits for another waited. grab. He's in. Con oh, God, no. He was in control, he knew! Oh, so at that point, right, most Robins would be foaming at the mouth, drooling at the potential to get arc fire at ledge. Covers pretty much every option. You can't just stay on the ledge against it. You can only roll. And if you mistime the roll, Robin's there and you get tossed back into the blender. So he waited. He waited for the option. And punished. Bro, that was a fantastic comeback. Not gonna lie, Jewel. I, I thought he was out. Of, I thought he was out for the count after that first stock. It was like, nope, this is Jen set to win. But all of a sudden, found an answer. Now here's the thing. Uh, for all the talk I had given uh, only a set or two ago with Dill, oh, you know, being a robot, being a machine, Jewel is fantastically composed. He is an extremely calm player, and it's very rare to see him pop off. Even his first Xeno win. Quick fist bump, and he's done. Yep. He uh, he cares more about like you know playing good and playing on point than actually getting that win. Absolutely. Here we go. All right. Dash attack to push him off stage, and uh, honestly, a lot of stage control in Jen's favor. Calls out the double jump, forces hey. out the up. The second Jen called out that double jump and got him off stage, he knew that Jewel had to commit to that up immediately, and he was there waiting with a downer. Smart. Gameplay coming out from Jen. And what a perfect timing at that, because that's difficult to catch with uh, Uppy having a surprising burst of speed that makes it difficult to catch for a lot of characters. All right, arc fire. That is a true block stream. You, I don't think you can get out of that. Tick throw extreme yes. mode. Uh, all right, catches with the up air. I don't think there's anything he could have done in that point to where he could have avoided the up air. Uh, run up there, pretty safe. Tries to go for a wave bounce. Neutral B, doesn't get it. Reflects the arc fire. He is going to still have to sit on that. Book is out of play. Mom's got to take it home before the charges rack up. You're only allowed to have that for a week. I should get grounded, man, because he's trying to get on the ground right now. 125% yep. so off stage. One of the big things about this counter pick is that arc fire at the ledge, the spacing is messed up because of the angle at the ledge. It's actually very difficult to get the sweet spot. Hashtag screw slants. <laughs> oh. Oh. Z drop. All right. Back throw. Jab. 
Yep. Back throw back up stage. Oh, he still catches him. I mean, that's going to be the classic setup from Jewel. He loves to throw arc fires right on the ledge because it gives him some free openings, right. but catches him trying to recover low. An area with his name on it. And again, we see ourselves with Jen with a pretty strong lead, but Jewel can bring this back. Absolutely. I honestly would not count him out of my life. Let's see. All right. So still has the Levin Sword. It was still out. That thing it was, was still bouncing like bugs. crazy. All right. And that's going to be hard for Jewel to try to catch that, right? Because the warp cancel. Yeah, Jen goes with so much momentum and speed that like his slow little, like stubby little legs. She just can't catch up to her. He has to commit to one or the other, and then if he commits to one, Jen can easily go, oh, you're uh, pulling back so you can catch my return to stage. I'll just go to ledge. Arcfire right. saying a little bit too hard. Jen was trying to call out with a down tilt. That <laughs> still gets smacked for a little bit yep. of damage by 11. Catches. Again, every single time Jen goes off stage to try to get this spike, he is always going to be an arc fire waiting upon his recovery back to the stage. Yep, a wonderful recovery with B reverse there. Oh, runs right into the explosive flame. Scary. Catches him no! with the last swing of it. Jewel's going to be able to live. 134%. All right, finds uses his way. It early. And now he's set found stage control, gets the stock, and this is All momentum right. shift that he needs. Now he Never mind. I Goodbye. Mean, his momentum shifted drastically Have a good day. to the right. Good night. It shifted very fast. See actually. you later, um, alligator. So I do want to talk about okay. Jules' recovery there. Yes. So 